Hello, welcome to the show. This is Speak of the Joker. Today we're going to be playing Motortown, a game I'm absolutely loving. I have no idea why. I never would have played a game like this in my entire life before I started doing Twitch. And this is my third weekend in a row. We were going to play um, Road 96, but I want to spend a little bit more time investigating that before I pick it for a Saturday that might be more appropriate uh, during the middle of the week. So um, we're also going to follow up on a little bit of uh, some of the mindful exercises we talked about last time. And uh, yeah, let's let's just get going. Let's dive in. My goal today. Oh, I, I should mention. Here we go. I'm just having a heck of a, a hair day. So I'm going to match my character a little here with a beanie. <laughs> OK. Um, Display capture. Boom. It's that easy. We are playing with a controller. This is a partial controller supported game, meaning most of the game itself works, but the menu doesn't, which is totally fine because this is still early access and just incredibly enjoyable. I also just realized I don't have my earbuds in, so I now realize the music is probably way too loud. All right, could have been worse. I'll turn that down. So unfortunately, this game does contain um, copyrighted, copywritten. Anyways, music I can't play. <laughs> so I have my own little playlist from the uh, YouTube music library, which is great because it's free, free and royalty free. <clears throat> Okay, let's get going. The goal today is try to become an ambulance driver. So last time I wanted to become a bus driver, I got there. Now, can I become an ambulance driver? That's the real question. Uh, unfortunately, it's nighttime, which is the worst time. I generally don't like to uh, Google or spoil things about a game I'm playing. I did look up how to become an ambulance driver, uh, which would save me going out there and checking the requirements again. You have to have a level 10 taxi. Unfortunately, taxi driving is my least favorite part of this game. I found it to be uh, quite annoying how you don't get to pick where you drop the people off, where they go. So um, I'm going to give it a shot. And if and if I just don't. Trophy taxi. Well, if I just if I'm just not loving the taxi thing, then we're going to abandon our plans to become an ambulance driver. But let's see how this car drives. You know, they all drive. Not great. OK. Now, the oh, OK. Now, I know I'm a terrible driver, not in real life in this game, but Wow. Um, let's see if there's another taxi I can drive. Because uh, I think there's something actually wrong with this one. Let's see. Every time I play, I have to remember which button gets out. Oh, wow. OK. So. I'm only level. Well, I'm level two. Oh, boy. So I need to be three for the better taxi and then level 10 for the ambulance. Uh, I don't I don't know if ambulance is happening today. I want to point out my coffee's a little different than normal. <clears throat> I'm a huge fan. Well, let's let's get this taxi ride started and I'll tell you more than you ever wanted to know about coffee. <laughs> OK. Am I missing something? Would you like to hop in? No, you we're just going to. Oh, there we go. Oh, huh, that was weird. As far as I know, and please feel free. This is kind of a game you can't really uh, spoil, but uh, please feel free to tell me if I'm wrong about this. 
don't have a way to see on the map where she wants to go or where they want to go before before they hop in. So, okay, so this is similar to my very first taxi ride I ever took where there is... I can't use my mouse. <laughs> I was going to point out up in the uh, top there and in the uh, kind of bottom middle area, there is a... Well, I guess it's that way. Anyways, there's a uh, little, like, kind of like their head. So it's like, oh, slam on the brakes. Presumably their comfort level goes down. Oh, of course, all the way to the other side of the island. See, this, this is what I don't like about taxis. You have to be level 10 to drive an ambulance, which is my next major milestone. So let's see how much experience I get from this drive. Because driving the truck... You, you know, in this distance, I'd be able to go two or three or four deliveries in that amount of time. So I better get a huge amount of experience. Oh, <clears throat> oh yeah. And, and for those of you who uh, haven't played in a while or have never played this game, just a little over a week ago, they implemented uh, police. So you will. OK, don't stand on the road when you're waiting for a taxi, by the way you will get um, tickets. And it's, uh, well, at least for speeding, it's 100 coins. I don't really know how to measure their economy because I have 10,000, which is great. Because you do start with zero. Um, but the bus driving, actually, I think most of that's from bus driving. And after a ton of other deliveries, I still didn't have any. Hello, welcome. For those of you who have not watched my show before, I don't normally wear a beanie. You know, it's just a, a bad hat day. Oh my. Oh my. Um, so my little comfort dots, the two that started full um, o opaque, are now quite transparent. So let me try. I want to test something. I'm going to go into autopilot. OK, that wasn't me. That was autopilot. OK, I'm going to see if they regenerate because I'm, I'm genuinely curious how this game works. So we'll see if the uh, comfort regenerates. And, you know, all right, let me know. Let me know in the chat. Beanie or, or hat. See, the thing is, um, in about in about 30 minutes, It'll it'll stay down in the back. I just have to press it. And it's quite early in the morning here, so didn't give myself enough time. OK, back to the coffee chat. Uh, autopilot is one of my favorite features of the game. And you might say. Why would you play a game on autopilot? I don't think I would have had an answer for you before I started playing this game myself and it's this game is a mix of relaxation and tedium and 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 I think most at least for me most of relaxation is that way it's 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 hard to relax and sometimes this is like you know it's like uh it's like an audiobook it's you know you're still paying attention you're still learning you're still hearing things uh, but you don't have to turn the pages you know so Sometimes it can turn, turn, turn an activity into something a little more um, relaxing. And me personally, I do like driving in this game, but I want to see if the comfort regenerates because I've, I'm already zero out of two. OK, coffee story. Normally I drink hot coffee. And I like to Drink from my Mr. Rogers mug. <laughs> One of my inspirators there. That's let's go with that. Uh, a couple very lovely friends of mine, maybe my loveliest, got me some Death Wish coffee, which is a very, very strong coffee. And I thought it would be perfect to cold brew. So normally love my coffee black and hot. And 
Uh, but for this coffee, I was like, let me do a cold brew, which is the easiest thing in the world. If, if you've never made cold brew, you'll just literally put it in the fridge. Um, there's no hot water. So you you have a filter. You have a container. They sell these as kits also, which is the easiest way. But a filter and a container, you put it in the fridge for 12 to 36 hours, depending on what you're trying to make. And when I make a cold brew, I actually don't like. See, look, OK, this the autopilot. Well, first of all, he's swerving all over the road. I have no idea why, but. It's this passenger is also not happy with this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, when I do cold brew, I don't like cold black coffee. I, I don't know why. So I put a little um, I actually kind of turned this more into like a a coffee breakfast smoothie. Is that weird? I don't know. This is the kind of stuff I do. I throw in some like protein powder and some like uh, chia seeds or something or the hemp seeds, I think, and just blended it with some uh, almond milk. So there you go. It tastes great. I get the unflavored protein powder for that reason, because you can kind of throw it in anything. But when you cold brew coffee, it is very strong. It has um, a much higher kick to it. Like, like, am I having a heart attack kind of kick? So it is a good idea to water it down. If you order um, cold brew at, like, Starbucks or something, they, like, literally add water. Um, it's also why they put so much ice. So pro tip, say no ice, no water. And uh, take, your, take your cold brew and parse it out into several drinks. I'm sure there's a million. It's not like Starbucks is is hurting for your for your five dollar savings. OK, this is autopilot. They're driving as bad as I am. All right, I'm taking over. Um, they did not regenerate. The comfort level of the passenger and they didn't also drive substantially better than me. Ah, <laughs> I do uh, notice I do drive off the road when I'm looking. One thing I will give the autopilot credit for is some of those uh, kind of more mountainy roads are no good. So I have not played this game off stream. So everything's either, you know, on Twitch or on YouTube of me playing this game. But I did um, last night do. Uh, there we go. OK, hold on. Comfort. Zero out of two. So. To me, that is, I guess, I guess I would have to see two out of two if there's some kind of bonus here in the middle. Is my mouse showing up? Oh, good, it is. So if there's some kind of bonus in the middle, if I had two out of two, I would like to know. But either way, it looks like my experience. I mean, if they're following kind of a standard math formula, it looks like my experience is calculated. So that's good. OK, do we? Do we pick this person up? Nope, wrong one. Yeah, I would really like to know where they are. If if I do end up, man, see the whole other side of the island again, or at least far away. Yeah, OK, at least it's a different area, although it's it is backtracking quite a bit. Um, if I do end up playing this next weekend instead of uh, Road 96, which I do want to check out. Um, OK. Before I finish that that story here. I have my extra morning ADD, I apologize, but notice this passenger also has comfort. They don't all. So my goal for this one, even though it's going to take a little longer, I do want to see what happens if I am successful there and just blow that stop sign. There's actually no steps in there. So I'm going to I'm going to try to maintain that comfort. OK, so back to Road 96, a viewer last weekend. Actually. Recommended it uh, for my Saturday morning stream. The theme of these streams is. Oh, are you going to stop? Oh, OK. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. Man, oh, now look at him driving crazy up there. I couldn't remember where the honk button was in all of my panic. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
okay. So that person cost me one of my two comfort squares. Look up in the top. Now I only have one out of two. Oh, man. And you know what? They also interrupted my story. <laughs> so do do check out Road 96 on Steam, though. There is a demo. And uh, I've just I've just been a little busy with work, unfortunately. Uh, oh, and there's my second comfort. Oh. OK, well. We're going for it. So another viewer mentioned Road 96 for my Saturday stream, and the theme is it's a chill morning stream where we can talk about talk about life, talk about uh, interacting. My, the first weekend I did a little talk about self-care because it's one of those words that people use all the time, but it's very ill-defined. Uh, last week I talked about uh, mindfulness and specifically the publisher of a book gave me permission to uh, read a couple sections and I did that and a little bit later, probably in about an hour, about an hour and 10 or so, we're doing a quick follow up on that. I mean, if you have any questions now, of course, you know, feel free to pop in. I am not an. Oh, be careful. Don't tell me to be careful. Tell them to be careful. Anyways, I uh, I am by no means any kind of expert, but I'm, uh, you know, the last couple years have taught me. That sometimes you need to pay attention to yourself and what's going on around you. And I wish, uh, you know, I wish I had learned some of these things uh, a couple years ago, those tools available for me when I needed them. I am just I am just destroying this passenger, by the way, but. At this point, I have, as far as I can tell, based on this game's logic, I have no incentive to, to not. Okay, so the last taxi ride gave me 350 experience. We are going to, like, figure this thing out. So the last one gave me 350 experience. And it was a little bit longer than this one. Not much longer, though. I don't remember exact numbers, but it was longer. So if this one also gives me 350, then I think that might mean there is a oh, uh, uh, there's a flat rate system. And if so, OK, I'm, I'm driver level 14. I need specific driver levels, though, like taxi to do anything, but um, yeah, so I'm going to start shopping for passengers uh, that have short trips, basically, is the end of that point. <laughs> Honking at the cement truck. All right. So uh, based on my play last week, and I actually don't know if there's been another update, the police seem to only chase you down if you're speeding. So I might be OK. Good morning. Oh, I'm I'm so bad with names. Let me let me try this and then you can laugh at my pronunciation. Uh, OK, it's K Y N G D O K. I got this. Well, I mean, I guess it depends <laughs> where in the world you're from, because there could be a lot of different ways of pronouncing that. Why don't you, if you feel free to uh, type out how to pronounce that because um i would i would absolutely love to say it correctly okay so this one gave me 335 experience so it is a function of distance okay i'm just so see this guy needs an ambulance that's what i want to do i want to be an ambulance driver but good morning though i do do appreciate that um uh, okay so i'm on this part of the world I actually don't come over here very often. My goal today, if you if you have just joined me, is to become a taxi driver. So um, not a taxi driver, an ambulance driver. But first, pronounce it King Doc. 
Oh, man. I almost was going to say that. I missed my opportunity to be successful on the first try. <laughs> Thank you for the help. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I there's a I mean, not that not that you need to know this level of detail, but I am uh, I'm dyslexic uh, actually quite a bit, but I've lived with it for a very long time, so I'm pretty good at dealing with it. But one of the challenges I have is uh, names big time. Which, you know, in hindsight, is not useful for somebody who has to read random names. So I didn't think about that before I started my Twitch channel. Big fan of Jeff Smith's Bone Comedy comic. Why do I think I know that? I don't want to... I don't want to say I know that and then be wrong, um, but it, it does sound familiar. I'll check it out. I mean, when you have. Here's a great thing about Twitch uh, so far, in my opinion, having you know just started is when you have 13 followers. It's kind of like these are 13 people who I'm I'm totally willing to listen to <laughs> because obviously we're such a uh, we're such a small group of people that we must have something in common. Uh, OK. OK, I am. I'm just so you know what I'm doing, which is, uh, you know what? I'm going to Google that on my phone. But first, let me pick up this passenger. OK, a nice short ride. Thank you. No comfort requirement. All right, watch this. We're going to go autopilot and then I'm going to Google Jeff Smith's phone coming. There's some bone comics. Oh, okay. I have seen the cover, but I have not uh, read any of them. No, but 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 the the imagery definitely looks familiar. I don't know. I think Jeff Smith was just a generic name. That's the only reason I um, recognize that. I think um, he was around the. I probably saw some of these. Um, around the time I was, uh, Yonan uh, Vasquez was putting out uh, stuff, and I was kind of into that for a little while. I never, I don't want to say I ever got out of it. It's just, you know, sometimes life moves on and you find other things. But, uh... <laughs> um... One of, okay, so here's here's a little recap for those of you who don't have the luxury of reading the chat. It's an adventure comic from the mid 90s. One of the villains names is Kingdom. But that spelling, <clears throat> excuse me, Got a little coffee in my throat. <clears throat> but that spelling wasn't available when I picked screen names at AOL back in the day. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Finally, I mean, no offense to my other viewers, especially um, the younger ones from last Saturday who had tons of great tips about this game. This is somebody in my age group. <laughs> Picking a screen name in AOL, that was a big deal. So my name and the origin of the channel and the little name you see, well, I guess up in the corner of of this is is Freaky Joker. <laughs> um, and that maybe someday I'll tell the full origin story of the name. But uh, yes, it definitely was my AOL screen name back in the day. In fact, it was one of the first, I mean, it was my first internet name, but, and you, you know what that's like. If you had an AOL screen name, you, you know, you had the first time you had to figure out what you wanted to be called. <laughs> and some of us have used that for 25 years and others cycle through them all the time. It's a, I wonder if there's some deeper personality tied to uh, if you have your AOL name still in use. But that's great. Ah. I would love to... How do I word this? I would love to be a person that had an extent, extensive comic collection and read it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not that person. 
You know, that's that's the thing. I'm just not that person. I, I'll be the person who, and, and maybe this is just my lack of ability to read well, but I'll be that person who will sit at a table and listen to you tell me about a comic for an hour and a half. Happily do that. I'm going to hit the mute button and I'm going to clear my throat because I think I've got this coffee situation in the wrong spot. Excuse me one second. There we go. So the importance, let me, let me tell you about aspiration. And this doesn't mean aspiring to be something greater. That's awesome too. Uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> but when I mean aspiration, I'm talking about liquids going down the wrong pipe. Clear that out. Give yourself a good cough because it will go into your lungs. And if you're young and healthy, it will not bother you at all. And if you are old or unhealthy, it will actually be pretty challenging for your system. Oh, thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody who, who just hopped on. We're doing... Our goal today is to become an ambulance driver. Unfortunately, you have to be a level 10 taxi. And right now, I'm only level 2. I'm level 10 other things, but not taxi. And I was using an autopilot. I'll be honest. I'll always be honest with you. I was using the autopilot because I was having a conversation about books in the chat. And I'm such a terrible driver. 220 experience. Okay. So I know it I know it's a function of distance, um, but yeah, it does seem like the city to city ones are better because you then immediately can pick somebody up. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, hmm. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, wow, I'm really I'm really in the middle of nowhere here. All right, what's my destination? I could always go back here. This is kind of my my main my main city. Oh, there we go. I'm rolling again. <laughs> I always forget to put on the parking brake. You know what? Let's be that guy. We're going to cut through. Oh, no. The police are after me. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? This is kind of some, like, authoritarian nightmare. Like, it's one thing if they see me speeding, but I left the road and they're instantly chasing me. Nah. You know what? Good luck finding me out here. How about that? <laughs> I I just mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, a little over a week ago, they added police to the game. And so far, I had only gotten a couple of tickets for speeding. And it's 100 gold, and I have 12,000. And cars cost 10 to 300,000, so... I don't really know how that scales in terms of uh, dollars or whatever currency you're operating under, but it was a little kind of a kind of a fun update, I would say, like just the fact that this game's in early access and they're still working on it. OK. Oh, welcome. Um, Mr. Vice 2K, a name I can pronounce unless I'm pronouncing that wrong. Please let me know. Okay, currently cars have a fixed comfort rating, which means you can only get full payout when you have... Oh, and I was driving off the road. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you could, uh, We're learning about this game while we play. Full payout when you have cars with five stars in comfort. Oh. Okay, so... Okay, thank you. Good tip. So essentially, if I have to restate that it's different cars have different maximum comfort ratings my own bad driving can still inhibit that but they have maximum comfort ratings and a car like this it's a maximum of two actually i just realized that i'm level three now oh no how do you turn on the light again <laughs> here we go i can go get that better taxi okay yeah not every passenger 
is a comfort passenger, though. That's right. Okay, I can get a better taxi now. Oh! <laughs> I always forget that you keep moving in the menu. Not this menu, right? No, not in that menu. Oh, boy. Okay, great. So... So not every passenger cares, but those who do care. I gotcha. Oh, thank you. Definitely appreciate the tips. What I haven't decided, though, is... Well, first of all, why do I love this game so much? I have never in my life played any sim for longer than 20 minutes. Um, including, uh, you know, a driving sim. Uh, you know, I played, like, The Sims and uh, I hated it. <laughs> That's how old I am, though, when The Sims was like the number one selling game. <laughs> okay, no, that's a taxi. So I'm not gonna pick up a passenger because I am going to skip all of these people and get my better taxi. Rude, yield the right away. Can you believe these people? I'm not hearing the music at all. I have the music in the game down, just heads up, because it's uh, there's copyright issues, but I have my own little playlist going. Huh, I could probably turn it up. Yeah, do do pop into the chat, though. If there's any sound issues, let me tell you, that that is just an ongoing challenge. I don't know. I don't know why. Every single time I stream, I make, like, 30 adjustments. <laughs> So, definitely let me know if anything sounds weird. Okay. We're going to park this guy, and we're going to get that nice little yellow cab. Okay, get out that way, and in. Okay, this is the upgraded taxi. I haven't been in this before. I'm going to drink a little more of my cold brew mix I made. Oh, okay. Okay immediately notice a difference. Yeah. I'm going to pick up this um, absolute duplicate of me. Oh, no. It's... Oh, you can't see because... It's nighttime. Okay. Oh, oh. Get... This guy's the hardest guy to pick up. Come on. Come on. All right, let's see if I have a, a higher comfort rating. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do I need to drive into him? I mean, I don't want to. Hmm. The game is telling me not to pick this. <laughs> drive fully out of the circle. Oh. 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 There we go. Okay. Okay, this is... Oh, requirement comfort. Okay, I got you. Now I'm seeing it. Oh, and this this is four square comfort. Okay. Now, the last time I tried... Uh, the last time I tried... I had two, and I failed miserably. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to keep all four, but if we can just keep one, that'd be... That'd be crazy. Advice from the chat... It bugged because I got out of the car. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, this game is in early access, but I want to say it was $15, and it might be one of the best $15 I've ever spent. <laughs> you know, I actually, I really enjoyed, I almost 100% of the whole game of uh, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. And that was 50 bucks, right, on PC. And I feel like I got a great value out of this, out of that. But if we, if we start putting hours of enjoyment to dollars this this game might might have broken into my top top 10 already i will say uh weirdly enjoying a driving simulator maybe i miss driving so a little a little bit about me i used to have um i used to commute for four and a half hours a day so for a decade so driving 
Um, although I'm quite terrible at it in this game, I'm quite used to and decent at it in real life. Uh, not to mention my frequent road trips. So maybe, maybe my Saturday stream, which is just about good morning, welcome, hop on the stream while you're making your morning coffee, chill, hang out. You know, that's, that's the Saturday stream. Maybe it's going to turn into different driving simulators. Oh, no, I already lost a comfort. Oh, I just lost another comfort freaking out about my comfort. Oh, no, I'm terrible. It's fun to play with the wheel. Yeah, you know. If you had asked me a month ago if I'm ever going to buy a wheel for the computer, I'd say zero percent chance. And now I'm like a wheel. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> It's so uh, it's so interesting. Let me just advice to anybody who plays games, which I'm assuming is everybody watching this to some level. Play a game you never would have thought you would like. Because expand your horizons. I will say I played God of War uh, last Wednesday and I was not struggling to enjoy the game but struggling to enjoy streaming the game. I don't know if that makes sense. It just it's not a very interactive game. With this game, I feel like I feel like you and I, the viewers, were in this car together and we're just chatting. And anyone who has ever been in the car with me knows I never stop talking. So it's perfect. But but for God of War, it's, you know, it's just a little it's it's like the ga the game is there. The game is walking you through an experience and that's a fun experience. It's a good game, right? I mean, they didn't make, you know, they didn't sell a billion copies because it's a dumb game. Um, it's a good game, but it's not. No, I just I just was having trouble connecting. So I'm going to I'm going to try again this coming Wednesday, though. So if you are more into those style of games, join me Wednesday and when you know no no promises here but when work slows down a little bit I hope to stream at least three nights a week that would be ideal but right now just one <laughs> and Saturdays okay this is the downside of the type of uh smoothie I made is uh the it's a like a coffee smoothie I wouldn't, you know, it's a mix of both, but I get a little, uh, at the bottom there, it gets a little chunky. Sorry, gross. <laughs> I'm just narrating my life here. Okay, that's going to be enough coffee for the morning, what's left in this glass, because this is, l let me warn you, this is cold brew, and if you're used to drinking, like, five or six cups, of black coffee this size, which is what I do, then, you know, cold brew half of that and you're going to not, you're going to start feeling it. So I still have one square of comfort. Yep. Oh, that's where it is. Good. Uh, one square of comfort out of four. So I really want to see what this multiplier is. So I am currently in autopilot mode. Although the autopilot makes some weird driving decisions too. I'm going to turn off autopilot. We're going to we're going to go for it and I immediately drive off the road. Okay. Here we go. You got this. Oh yes, I do have a follower goal of 17. If you would like to follow, I would appreciate that. I've decided uh Twitch has encouraged me by many notifications to set goals, so that's my goal. <laughs> okay. So this guy is waiting for me to turn, even though he clearly has the right of way. But meanwhile, people coming out of the side streets just barrel into the intersections. That's funny. I want, I wonder, uh, now let me just say about this game. I have questions that the developer could answer. And as far as I know, the developer of this game is very 
accessible. He has a Discord. He answers questions directly. It's like a one-person team. So if you're really into this game, join their Discord. I popped on just to ask about the music. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That's a significant bonus. Wow. Okay. If you can be smooth at breaking and cornering, you can just put the car in sport mode and ignore the speed limit. Oh, yeah. I mean, the the hundred dollar fine for speeding would be well worth my time because, as you can see, you know, you're getting a thousand minus, you know, 30, 33 percent. Wow. OK. Yeah, that's that if if my goal is to get to level 10 taxi so I can drive an ambulance, then comfort is the way to go, because that is a that was one out of four. So if I had gotten four out of four, that would have been uh, that would have been as much as. Oh, urgent. Thank you. Now that's my style. Oh, it's timed. Oh, that's new. That's new. OK. <clears throat> Okay, um, well, unfortunately, this is happening at night. Okay, sport mode is... L there we go. Yeah, my whole first stream, I, I couldn't figure out why my uh, car was overheating. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I wasn't even close. Just turning around took 20 seconds. Anyways, the whole first stream, I couldn't figure out why my car was overheating. And it's because I was in sport mode. Oh no. I don't know if the, I don't know if this is just a straight binary either you make it and you get a bonus or you don't and you don't. But we're going to we're going to still try to give him a good good time. Oh. Late. All right. You know, we did our best. Some of the limits, I'm not sure if they're doable, even if you if you don't have the fastest car. Yeah, for sure. That that is a really excellent point. Um, I think that one. For me, probably would have been impossible, even with the fastest car, because I would have immediately driven into a tree. But but that was a, that was a tough time limit. I think if my car was oriented the correct way to start and I just had to start driving that that probably would have helped. But I'm going to for this for this next one. I'm going to. Uh, oh, I'm going to be ready if it says urgent. Let's see. Comfort and urgent. Oh, no. OK, let's let's center ourselves. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, let me rearrange my um feed on twitch it's hard for me to see the chat sometimes which is unfortunate because you're typing and i would like to read it <laughs> mr vice 2k um so let's click on this hmm and a bunch of actions are not available okay i am by no means an expert on twitch let's be very clear about that so, and I can remove panel. Do I want to do that? Okay. How's this music? Should I turn this up? How are we doing with it? Here we go. I'll go seven. I do do definitely appreciate sound feedback because I will. Uh, these get uh, recorded also, and then I'll go back to check, you know, just make sure my settings sounded good and stuff. Like, it's difficult to watch yourself, though. Um, and. Oh, no, my sound was way off for 10 minutes. Um, is there something flashing on the screen? What is that? OK, so there's something flashing on my end that is not flashing on the stream, so we will ignore it. All right. OK, 30 seconds and comfort. So this is this is like OK, when he said urgent and comfort, I was expecting like a minute time limit. Ugh, this is 
This is impossible. Okay, even with the fastest car, this would have been impossible. Oh my gosh. And then I knocked over a tree. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. I should have just gone for the comfort and ignored the urgent. Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck. All right. I'm already late. So let's just focus on having a three out of four star comfort ride. Oh, this is embarrassing. It's okay. I took a breath, centered myself, and it ultimately didn't help. Is that a different destination? I thought it was over there. Was I, I was, was I even going the wrong way? Okay, well, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I did drive Lyft for one day because I was uh, curious. Like when it first started, when it was like only in San Francisco. So uh, that was interesting. All right, three start comfort. Let's let's see what we got. Okay, so obviously it was a really short ride, but that's that's as a percentage, that's over 50 percent right there. Just just in the bonus, it's actually um, excuse me. Do you want to get off my tail? It's actually 60 percent. So comfort point should be added for the scenic route. Oh. So that's OK. Here's my question to the chat. <laughs> King Doc, you said comfort point should be added for the scenic route. I think that's a great suggestion. Now, is that a suggestion or is that a real thing? Is that actually in the game? It, it is unfortunate that so far from what I've seen, you you can't get your comfort back. So if you. You have no information if this is real. N no, I, I don't think it is. Um, I'm not an expert, so I have played this game for roughly seven hours because I've only played on stream. Hmm. Another comfort and urgent. You got to be kidding me. We're ignoring the urgent and we're going to take this one slow. Sorry, Santa Claus. I know you're busy, but. Your demands are unreasonable. Well, here's what I'll say. If you were really into this game, I happen to agree with you that you should be able to earn comfort points back. Oh, 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 OK, I got it. Because as far as I can tell, there's no way to earn them back, um, but that'd be a great mechanic. And the developer of this game, like I said, he's just don't don't do it. He's always available in Discord. Not always, but but there's a whole section in Discord where you post your ideas and he posts um, replies. And that sounds like a great idea. I mean, actually, you know what? The funny thing is, I almost made this time. I don't think I'm going to. But I you know what? Let's do it to the grass. Come on. Oh, shoot. Actually, I almost made that. I almost made that. Unfortunately, I lost the time and the comfort point at the end. Um, still, man, look at that bonus, though. That yeah, that that comfort satisfaction. Uh, oh, OK, we, we have a little bit. Um, this is a great conversation in the chat. So. Mr. Vice 2K said in response to the idea of earning back comfort points, which I think is great. But this is a great response, which is you could drive like a crazy person. And then. Earn them back. So the thing about video games and, and I am by no means a video game designer, I have literally never programmed a single thing I took a web class in college because back then it was like new and uh, I was horrible at it, but I do play games. <laughs> and the thing about games is they all have to find a balance between giving you something, giving you the satisfaction of accomplishing something and a challenge, because if there is no challenge, like like, for example, this car right here, how it handles this car handles significantly better than the previous taxi. And although I haven't seen it yet mentioned in the chat before, 
there are better taxis that handle even better and drive faster. Now you could just say, oh, well, that's just how cars work. So they're just copying cars. But why did they turn that into a video game? Because I became level three and now I can drive this taxi. So it's, it's a gated challenge. You don't just instantly drive the better taxi. When I got this taxi, there was satisfaction, right? So there has to be a challenge. So bringing it back to comfort points. Yeah, if if there was a way to earn them back. Then is that a little too easy? How would the designer? Mix that. It's a good question. It is a question. For the game developer, no, not me, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so being driven off the road through the field would generate lasting memories. That's that is true. Might more than make up for some comfort. Um, you know, I, I want to see I want to see the uh, passenger instead of urgent comfort, urgent discomfort, like they want to be driven through the field. The last time the second to the last time I was in a taxi, the driver was prob. I already lost a comfort from accelerating. OK, man, I am not good at this. We're going to get three, though. We're going to get three out of four. The second to the last time I was in a taxi, the driver was insane, like even for me and I have a lot of driving experience, so like a little crazy driving doesn't really bother me that much. Because <laughs> generally, you know, it's about distance between cars and things like that are what causes accidents. A little speeding, a little swerving here or there. Uh, it's not really a big deal, but but when you don't have the ability to stop in time, that's a big deal. Well, that was this driver. He was accelerating like there'd be a red light and 20 stopped cars and he was like going like 65 for the quarter mile it was like fast and furious and then he would like switch it was crazy and it wasn't there was no time saved because it was a heavily well it was las vegas <laughs> so there's there's no time saved driving like that when you're going like four blocks <laughs> you can buy a car and buy a taxi license not sure if you can do this with a truck. Yeah, you know, I do see the 33 percent they're taking every time. And for me, I have enough money now based on my little quick view of the car lot to buy either a taxi license and put it on my own car, which I think drives horribly the car you start with or. Oh, there we go. Oh, I lost a comfort doing that. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, um, I could save that 33%. But for me, I'm not really. My goal right now, and, and as I'm looking at the time. Of the day, the actual physical time, not the time in the game, uh, the real life time. I don't think I'm going to get to level 10 taxi to be able to drive this ambulance today. Especially not driving like that. Let's just let's just be clear. <laughs> That's that's not helping me. But this is this is a pretty long drive, so if I can get two out of four comforts, I'll still be pretty stoked. And then we'll we'll see if it's a like a straight percentage because three was 60 percent. So is two 40 percent? Is that how it works? Is for 80 percent? Okay, so only the servos, which I'm guessing is a car, makes sense, which is 30k because of the comfort. Then you'll make around 2k per trip. Oh, okay. So it's kind of an investment there. Not only do you not pay your 33%, but you also get more money because of the comfort bonus. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. My, my whole goal last week was to become a bus driver. 
and let me tell you, I actually really like being a bus driver. So I might end up, I might end up going back to that, you know? I like to set goals. Oh, I didn't know that was you. Well, hello. One of my real life friends is in chat. Although, you know, when there's, like I said, when you only have 13 followers, it's almost like you're all my real life friends. <laughs> no, you didn't need to mention it before. Um, so I, I, personally, I like remaining anonymous on the internet. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think upgrading the upgrading to the 30k car. It would make me level faster, too. So I wonder if if ultimately I drive the bus. OK, Mr. Vice 2K. I want your advice on this. Explicitly this plan. Drive the bus. Which I enjoy doing. Until I make enough money to buy the fancier taxi. And if I then spend the money on the fancier taxi, I will level up to level 10 faster, which then means I can drive the ambulance. Total time spent less on the taxi part and more on the bus driving part, which I think fun. So that is my direct question to you. OK, you did just you said bus driver is an OK way to make money. A better way is cargo hauling. But instead of taking the company vehicle, you you go to a car dealer and rent the vehicle. Hmm means you don't need to give company the profit share, which means you make more money. That is a fair point, and I'm going to think about that. To my specific question, though, I love driving the bus. So if you're saying it's an OK way to make money, maybe that's what I should do. So cargo hauling is the best way, but I really enjoy driving the bus. OG twos. Welcome. First time chat. How's it going? So just those of you who are curious, actually, I'm going to show you right now because I'm so uh, excited about this. Proud about this. What's the word? Look at this. You see this this logo here? Oh, no, you can't see it because there, there we go. OK, so this this logo, this uh, Jester Joker, this was designed by King Doc in the chat. So, boom, amazing. Um, he just does absolutely amazing work and it blows my mind because I am not an artist. And we're still working on some other projects and and oh, didn't have the parking brake on. Um, any, any design I can get, and I plan on just putting that on everything I own. All right, we are going to the... All right, we're going to drop the taxi off and we're going to get a bus. I don't remember exactly where the bus is. There is a bug in this game. Just those of you who don't know. Um, am I going the wrong way or the right way? Anyways, there's a bug in this game where the bus stations and bus jobs don't show up. Uh, I'm not taking a passenger, so I'm just going to drive the way I drive. Oh, okay. We have some we have some advice in the chat here from Mr. Vice. The big ones use the townies. Okay, or the school bus drive short routes, probably school routes. Hmm. I actually, if if I had to drive a bus, well, I don't have to. If I if I am planning on driving a bus, I would like to try a school bus. Glad I like it. Are you kidding me? I love it. <laughs> We're talking about my uh, Joker logo. OK, no, no, no. I almost picked up this passenger. No, we are dropping you off. And just because I am a responsible driver, I'm going to put the car back where I picked it up. We're going to put the car back to close to where I picked it up. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see what the requirement is for the school bus. Oh. Oh, okay. Bus level five. And my current bus level is... Which one is it? This one? No, that's truck. Three. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I still like driving the bus more than the taxi. So let's drive the best bus we can. There we go. Okay, here are the route options. Hmm. Ooh, this one looks a little more straightforward. Oh, should I? Should I do it? Drive all the way around the island? Okay. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do this one time. Um, that's one of the big ones. Try the townie. Oh, oh, try the townie. Okay, hold on. This one's the townie. Ah, I'm driving. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just abandon my route. Oh, this little one here? I don't like this one. We're gonna we're gonna drive it. We're gonna... Nah, I don't. Hmm, I don't know. That one. We're we're going for it. We're going for it. We're gonna we're gonna take the biggest bus we can. Something is beeping. <laughs> we're gonna take the biggest bus we can, and we're gonna go to the the city bus. We're gonna take the longest route we can. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, let's see. This bus is bigger. Oh, okay. All right, level five. All right, there we go. We're taking, we want blue or red. I feel like I'm wearing red. Blue is my normal color though. But this guy is wearing red. Here we go. All around the island. We're going for it. We're going for it. I think my, I think my other computer over here is making noise. If that is distracting or if you're hearing fans or something, let me know and I will start holding down power buttons all over this place. A uh, comment from the chat. It will be painfully slow otherwise. Yes, I am all about the pain of the bus driving. I don't know why. I just love driving the bus in this game. I did it for the first time last week, and I only did it for about a half an hour um, before I had to close the stream, but I just really enjoyed it. The kombucha I'm drinking tastes like fermented raisins. Um, that sounds like you have a good kombucha, but that's a that's an unhappy face that you have posted after that. So I'm not sure. That sounds great. Hello. Hello. That guy sounds like me. Oh. Fortunately, there's no comfort requirement, but. Still almost hit that guy. Okay. All right, Mr. Vice. I see what you're saying about painfully slow. All right. Well played. <laughs> this acceleration is horrible. But that's okay. We, we're we here for the experience. Hey, while I'm doing this, let's... Oh, oh, oh boy. We'll do a quick, a quick little follow-up. I'm not going to... I'm not going to torture you all like I did... Uh, last Saturday, for those of you who saw that. But we're going to do a quick follow-up on the uh, mindful exercises that I had mentioned. If you want to learn about that, if you want to hear about that, if that's interesting to you. Um, I'm, I'm in neutral. Okay. And I'm in reverse. Okay. Interesting. I like the bus. Open the doors when you pick up passengers. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this on autopilot just real quick, and we're going to see how well it does. It's probably not going to do that great because it's such a big vehicle. Oh, I can't honk when I'm on autopilot. Man, I would have honked at that guy. So last week, I... Okay, I still need to open the doors. Okay, and the doors close automatically. Okay, that's right. I did learn that last week. Last week I talked about this book. 
I'm not going to go into it too much. They're not paying me also. How to Train a Wild Elephant. So the deal with that book is it has like 50 something exercises in mindfulness that you can that you can do to practice. Some are every day, some are every week, some are every time you do something, every time you answer the phone, every time you, uh, you know, sit at your desk to work. The, the concept between mindfulness and, and I know it's a term that is just overblown. And again, I don't want to pretend like I'm an expert. I'm still learning too. But the concept behind mindfulness is taking time to connect to your body, connect to that moment in time, and kind of ground yourself. I'm using a lot of words that are defined within themselves, which is not great. Uh, for example, if something is really stressful or something is really challenging for you to do, taking that, um, that minute to recognize that and check in on how your body is feeling and take a couple deep breaths, that is going to make you better prepared for that, for that thing that you're going to do. And one of a couple of the exercises that I went through last week, feel free to watch it on Twitch if you are curious um, and or, or my YouTube. One of the exercises is <laughs> one of them I found very challenging to do this week. So I want to give you an update on what I did well, or what I didn't do. Is that guy going to get pulled over? Look at that. Just illegal U-turn, cutting off a police officer. Horrible. So one of the exercises that I mentioned, which is really, I don't want to say fun, but but just one of those little things you can do that, that really seem to help yourself, which is anonymous giving. I really struggle with that in the pandemic. It used to be a lot easier when I'd go into the office every day and you could you know, drop something off at someone's desk. If you ever notice, this is such a such a fun little thing to do if you work in an office. People often collect things or they have like a favorite thing. And when you're out and about in the world, you might see that thing. And it might be a person that you don't even know that well. Just buy it and put it on their desk. <laughs> it's, it's such a great little thing. This has been a challenge, though, this last week to find uh, ways to do it anonymously. So uh, the the thing I will say I did mostly successful, which is something I like to do at the end of the night, and it's similar to one of the exercises from the book, which is just at the end of the day, either there's two versions of this and there's nothing stopping you from doing both. But write down three people who made your day better and why. And the other version of this is write down five things that happened that made your day better and why. And <laughs> I know this is such a weird uh, topic, but I just really um, I really like the idea of how do we as humans existing in this world improve ourselves like like we're doing in video games. I want to level up my bus. So what do I do? Drive a bus. Do I, what if I want to level up my resiliency or I want to level up my ability to interact with people? Well, there's ways to do that, too. So that's all. I won't go on a big, long speech this time like I did last week. <laughs> but if you do, if you do have questions about that, um, I, I would be more than happy to to answer from my perspective, the non-expert perspective. If you want an expert's opinion, then check out check out the actual book. Yeah, it's definitely <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it's definitely an interesting idea, but it's also one of those words and terms you just hear constantly. So. What does it actually mean? Huh. So I will say so far, this bus route, what am I? I don't know, a quarter done? 
I think I think Mr. Vice was right in that the handling is not great, the acceleration is not great, and the circle around the island is kind of a little boring. So I think the shorter in-town routes th that is a little more exciting. I think I think I'll have to agree with you. How's my hair? <laughs> you know, uh, I've been wearing the hat to squish down my hair because it was sticking up all over the place. Uh -oh. Okay. So let me just switch over. So that might cut out the sound. I need to refresh this. Always settings to mess with. Oh, I need to open the door. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome. Those of you who just joined, I won't talk about mindfulness anymore. Uh, unless you want to talk about it. I know there's an option and maybe when I when I get into it, I'll I'll make some changes. But I, I know there's an option to um, not have the night cycle or to have it be less. But definitely nighttime is my least favorite. But I wanted to give this game a shot <clears throat> on its default settings. And I think even at default, it's it's totally acceptable. It's, it's a totally find experience. It's just me personally. I'm I'm struggling with the nighttime. Look at these fields, though. This is this is nice. Yeah, we've got sun. Look at those reflections. You know, for a game that is. Uh, essentially, you know, early access still, they they've they've done a good job. All right, we're canceling autopilot. We're driving. So you know when I'm driving because I'm on the wrong side of the road. And when the game's driving, it's very slow and on the right side of the road. Oh, oh, oh. I guess uh, which side of the road you're on might also depend on which part of the world you're in. <laughs> but for this game, the right side is the right side. Is it? Oh. Okay, after I finish this route, Oh, boy, I'm not. Oof. I'm trying to I'm checking my level here. It's not going up that fast. Open door. My. No, how I know if everybody's on. All right, that's fine. You don't want to get on? That's fine. My goal is to make enough money to buy the nicest taxi to then level up my taxi so I can be an ambulance driver. <laughs> this is where the realism of the game and meeting those challenges can be a little frustrating because I really want to drive an ambulance. And this game is saying you're not experienced enough. Now, the reality is um, that's true. Have you seen my driving? I'm horrible at it. So the fact that the game is telling me that I'm horrible is totally fair. All right. OK, we're going to change some settings real quick. Very exciting. OK, there we go. Not sure. Uh, welcome. Got some new new viewers. Uh, our our goal today was sort of to become an ambulance driver, but we have to get level ten taxi. So here's what I think. I think I think this is not the way to do it. To buy a nicer taxi to level up taxi faster. 
I'm not earning enough money. I am. This is this is good money. Don't get me wrong. For the way this game works, I've already increased my money, you know, three thousand just in the last few minutes, which would have been a lot of taxi rides. But it's not going to get me to taxi level ten that much faster. So after we finish this bus route, we're going to go back to the taxi. I really want to drive an ambulance. I feel like. Once I'm an ambulance driver, maybe maybe I'm set. Maybe that's my job forever in this game. I like helping people. And the way this game's economy works, they'll pay me. I guess I'll probably be paid for every passenger I take. Which is, you know, depending on where you live, may maybe how it works, maybe not how it works. I'm going to cancel this autopilot here because um, I have no idea why the bus is stopping in the middle. Ambulance also needs racer level two. So I did notice that um, last week when I, I stopped by the ambulance and I thought, oh, perfect. Let me try. I think I'm racer level two, but if not. And that that is a good point. In a way, it should be racer level 10, taxi level two. <laughs> but in in I did find a course. What? Why does it tell me to go this way? All right, I'll go this way. Maybe this way is better. Uh, I did find a little circular course. Here's what I discovered about racing. For those of you who don't know, or at least this has been my experience. The two different racetracks I found, one is very difficult and intricate and takes several minutes to finish, at least for me. Oh, it's actually right here. I ended up in the harbor, so, uh, you know, be careful. But you get 100 experience every time you finish. Then there's a little dirt track out in the middle of here. I'll show you, actually. There's a dirt track like, oh, man, it's one of these. Maybe this, maybe this circle. Hmm. Well, anyways, there is a there's a small circular dirt track and it's very easy to to get around and it's the same hundred experience. So you need to do that 10 times to level up. You start on level one in this game of everything. So basically drive around the circle 10 times and boom, you're level two. Um, how exactly am I going to drop these passengers off here? Oh, I see the whole yellow area counts as a drop off, so I can do that over here. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yes, OK, good. Oh. <laughs> Open door. Oh, here we go. So I got experience and money. Oh, there's still I still hear the money dropping. I don't know if you can hear that. OK. Great. Oh, now I have 20 people. OK, hold on. Parking brake. Now look at the map. <laughs> OK, so I'm I'm halfway through this route. OK. Yeah, I definitely, you know. Definitely would say the little in town bus is 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 more kind of exciting. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking over the chat now. I'm just driving this truck off the road. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. There's no penalty in this game or for this task for driving like an idiot. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 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 OK. I got to hold on. Let me line up again. Yeah. So Mr. Vice's uh, point. You're paid per passenger, so the best routes would be. OK, is that it? Oh, yeah, I guess I did that stop already. OK, um, yeah, the little small bus route. OK, I'm definitely in agreement with you. The little small bus route seems to be the way to go with the little with the little towny van. You told me that before and I said, no, nah, no, nah. I want to do the big route and it's good to try different things, even when you're not exactly sure what you want to do. I have 
<laughs> Alright, autopilot, autopilot. I have a window popping up on my other screen that is um, kind of driving me nuts. I'm uh, being honest. So I'm going to minimize that and maximize that. It's going to make me go crazy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, some some it, it, sometimes you do you do want to try the longer routes. Thank you. You got to know what you love. I'm sure there are some people in this game just based on the 3 weeks I've been playing this now. There are some people that probably love the longer route. And and that's totally their fun and enjoyment. So, you know, I'm sure and the uh, game developer who was like a single person that made this game, he uh, probably thought about that and said, let's give an option. You like the shorter routes or shorter routes? You like the longer routes? Do the longer routes. So, you know, it's all about about learning. And I have learned. Maybe I want something a little more exciting. This is this is the kind of game, though, that let me let me try not to overstate this because I'm still surprised how much I enjoy this. But this is the kind of game where you can play in the morning like I am. This is how you start your day. You, you know, wake up, let's say, you know, turn on this game, play for an hour and then start your day. I think that'd be a great start of the day, you know, if it you know fits in your schedule. But it's it's not too overwhelming. It's not too taxing on the system, but you still get to engage your mind and your brain. But I could also see, and in that case, you want to do the taxis or the ambulance or the race cars, the, the shorter things, kind of things that require more attention. I could also see it's nighttime. The in-game soundtrack is totally fine. It's just uh, it's all copyright. So because it's um, like an Internet music service. I could also see putting this on at night and and just doing a long bus route. Just just kind of chill. Just kind of hang out, listen to music, drink some nighttime tea, <laughs> and then you're good to go. So use the handbrake every stop so it doesn't roll. Yes, I am notoriously bad about not putting on the handbrake. And in this game, it took me three hours before I found it. But it's A. It's A on the controller. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Do you, do you want to go ahead and speed up? Yeah, I wish, you know, I should get uh, I should get little post-it notes. I need two post-it notes so far. One of them says when I start this stream, welcome people to the stream, because if you go back and look at some of my videos, I just go, hi, everybody. And then I just and then I just start playing. Um, but I should actually say, like, hello, welcome. Welcome back to the show. Appreciate you coming. We're playing Motortown. I should probably say something like that. But um, instead I go, and we're live. <laughs> and then the other sticker needs to be handbrake is A or parking brake. I think this game calls it handbrake. I call it parking brake. If you're driving a stick, you, know, you usually call it a, a parking brake. But with the so we had a discussion earlier about the possibility of if I keep playing this game, actually buying a wheel to play with. So if you have a wheel, you don't have the luxury of preset bindings. You need to bind every single button before you can use it. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, you know, just from a technical point of view. Oh, we have we have wind power generators out here. OK, huh? Where am I at? I don't think I've ever been over here. That's cool. Um, yeah, with the with the Xbox Elite Series 2, not sponsored. <laughs> you not only 
does it just kind of come controller supported like a lot of games do now on Steam to some extent? But it also it also has the ability to rebind in the game, of course, but also in the Xbox software to bind every single key and every single like custom setting. And you can even change knobs that just pulled the knob off and it goes right back on with a magnet. And you're thinking, oh, that's not good. It's never popped off when I don't pull it off. You have to pull it straight off and it comes off very easily. All the buttons, um, all the directional sticks and the D-pad come off. The actual physical buttons don't. And these buttons, uh, you can set them to how sensitive they are. I'm really impressed. I, I've mentioned the controller two or three times now, but just because switching back to PC gaming after basically not using a PC for 10 years other than work, I was really worried I wouldn't be able to use the mouse and keyboard again. So I bought a controller and I haven't been using the mouse and keyboard. But my aim, uh, so God of War, I'm going to play on Wednesday again. I played last Wednesday. My aim with the axe with the key with the um, this controller is actually terrible. So I do need to mess with those settings. I don't know if any of you play that uh, play that one, but the throwing of the axe is very important. Oops. Knocking cables. OK, so we we are we are 80 percent done with this route. I'm just guessing. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in and thank you for chatting. I appreciate that. Just just nice to play some games and chat with people and learn, learn different things about it. Oh, closed door. Oops. Nope. Sorry. Open door. Thank you, everybody. OK, closed door. Thank you. Thank you. The game automatically opens the door because I have autopilot on and I'm messing with it. Oh, here's another racetrack. This one looks nice. OK. Where am I? OK. Oh, it's literally called Speedway, so I should be able to find that again. <laughs> Whoa, look at this crazy driver. I'm not online, but this this guy drives like a human. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at that narrow accident avoidance. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you watch um, those like YouTube bad driver videos. I, I probably shouldn't watch them. I don't think it's healthy, but uh, I just sometimes I'll just put those on and uh, basically criticize the drivers. That's exactly how I play this game. I just go, why are you doing that? Here's the thing, though, about road rage. This is one of those like obvious statements. But for some reason, when you're in the moment, it's a lot harder. So why not right now when we're playing a driving simulator? Think about this. Oh. We're in South Korea. That makes sense. So now's the time to think about this. The next time you're in a car, for those of you old enough to drive. The next time you're in a car. And you Somebody cuts you off, somebody slams on the brakes, do something weird. Is y y yes, do internally in your own car, make fun of them and 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 call them an idiot. <laughs> if you need to do that, go ahead. But don't speed up and cut them off and do anything. That's that's what I get about those YouTube videos. That's what I get out of watching those. It's like training to not do road rage because there's no there's no benefit. So what happens? You get into an accident or you get into like a fight like you didn't accomplish anything. So I know it's easier. It's easier said now when when we're playing a driving simulator than in real life when tensions are high. But uh, that's that's why we're talking about it now. Open door, because if you don't plan, then you don't know. Hello. Hello. 
yeah, cars do use their turn signals in a weird way in this game. And that's a that's another one of those things. Is it? I have discovered people all over the world call them different things. We have turn signals. We have what we call blinkers. We have. What? Where am I going? OK. Well, the bus is autopilot driving, not the way the game is programmed it to go, So It will get there, though, so it's totally fine with me. Uh, some people call them indicators, which I think is also a very popular term, a, a term like blinker. That's just, you know, that's all that that's got to be a regional thing. But turn signal indicator, those seem right. And we have blinkers, we have flashers. Usually when people say flashers, they mean both. Unless they're talking about something completely different, which is not a Saturday morning stream conversation. In German, it's literally called blinker. Yeah, so that's also true here on the West Coast of the United States. <laughs> we call them blinkers. Everybody I know calls them blinkers. I'll say that, and then one of my uh, local friends will pop on and, and say, no, I've never used that term in my whole life. <laughs> OK, here we go. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm really bad at bus stations. OK, open the door. And I am done driving this bus. Ooh, that was a lot of money, though. Yeah, this definitely has a lot more money than taxis, but I want to be an ambulance driver. How do I, you know, how do I shortcut that? I don't think I can. I think I have to drive taxis and I have to drive them well. I don't think there's any way around that. OK, um, so this is something I discovered last week. For those of you who don't know, um, it's it's really sad. It's also kind of weird, but when the bus driver gets off, Everybody stays on. And as far as I can tell, they stay on forever. And I feel responsible for these, you know, 12 or so people. Or even more people, actually. Wow, that's a lot of people. How many people we got? Oh, wait, no. I just want to check the number of people. 20 people, including me. So 19 passengers are sitting on here waiting to get to their destination and it's never going to happen. Oh, yeah. You know, I think there's something about life in that. Who parked this like this? Let's take this one. <laughs> OK, I'm back to the taxi. I'm level four taxi. I'm level four bus. I'm level four everything, but I need to be level ten. Just, oh, just, I look over the chat and I immediately run into this person. Ah, stop following me. Perfect uh, music cue for that. Seems like, oh, it seems like you did not turn off the engine in the other taxi. I absolutely did not turn off the engine. I didn't even know I could. Okay, let's, let's try to be a good citizen. You know, I... I joke around a little, but let's let's try. OK, so this is the first taxi that I didn't turn off. How do you turn off the engine? Exit vehicle. OK. Um, huh. Control panel, maybe control panel. Oh. I have never looked at this before. Lock. Cargo. Oh, look at that interior light. That's fun. Oh, wow, this is just so much more information than I've ever had before. What happens if I lock it? Lock. I can't. <laughs> the odor. OK. All right, I do not know how to turn off the engine. So, um. It's probably a combo button, LB and something else. You're right. It probably is because most things are. So over on uh, just this part of the screen, I guess. Uh -oh. Hey, actually, am I? I'm in the way of my speedometer oh, this whole time. I can move myself. Watch this. 
Boom. There we go. That looks horrible. Okay, now now you can see my horrible speedometer and tachometer. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try different buttons. Okay, L B and Y. Oh, we got some more options that opened up. Roadside service, increase speed, decrease speed. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh, L B and nope. L B and A, nope. Okay, L B R B. Okay, uh, LB and left trigger. <laughs> LB, oh, LB right trigger. Did I do it? No. No. Well, gang, I think we might just have to leave these cars running. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, oh, I, you know what? Thank you in the chat. I did not try right bumper. And all these buttons. Oh, that's traction control off. Hmm. Nope. LBRB. Interior light. Oh, man. The cars will run out of fuel at some point. Yeah. I guess this is the... I just, I, I don't like intentionally being a bad citizen, even in a video game. You know, there's no, even in Grand Theft Auto, I try not to hit pedestrians as I'm robbing banks and, and killing thousands of people. <laughs> but unfortunately in this game, they will eventually run out of fuel. And that's just how it has to be. Okay, so there's no comfort requirement on this one. So I'm going to, as was suggested in the chat, drive as fast as possible and not worry about uh, my comfort rating. Okay, let me switch over to sport mode. In my opinion, sport mode is really not, at least in these lower level vehicles, I don't know what it's like in the higher level vehicles, but it's really not that useful. No. You you spend a lot of time correcting. And in this starter car, the stinger that you start with, not these cars that I'm using that are somebody else's, um, the car overheats in like 30 seconds. So, I don't know, I'm not a big fan. Oh, I don't have my headlights on. Okay, so there's a police officer. So, let's see, the speed limit is 60 kilometers is actually not super fast. Let's see. Oh, oh, I'm currently speeding. My microphone is blocking the speedometer. Okay, okay, let me move it. Okay. Or do I just go and pay the $100 fine? Because who cares? I'm trying to level up. I'm not trying to make money. Yeah, that's a really good point. Even if you do have a comfort rating. Ugh. You only pay... They can stop you? What? Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Okay. I am very bad at running from the police, as you can see. Ooh. See you later. Oh, I'm losing him. Uh, at least it looks like that on the mini map. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, don't crash. That'd be an interesting addition. You kill your passenger. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, this is embarrassing. Is it gonna catch me? Oh, he's catching up! He's catching up. Let's see how the uh, AI navigates in the grass. They don't. They're following me on the road. That's actually much smarter. Okay, here we go. Let me get some traction. Oh, he went off road, it looks like. This is. This is intense. 
This is the world's most intense taxi ride. Oh. All right, that was actually a pretty cool turn for me. <laughs> Will I get to my destination? Uh, my destination while the police are still chasing me. Tune in to find out. That was like <laughs> some like clickbaity stuff. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's. Oh, he's still coming. How do I turn on my mirror? Well, here, I'll just do this. Okay. He's pretty far back there, though, so. Ooh, look at this top speed. This is, I mean, obviously, this is a record for me. I think that's why it's popping up. Yeah. Boom. 141 kilometers per hour. Ugh. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a pretty decent turn. So, so far, this has been the best taxi ride I've done. Because I'm running from the police. The car hasn't overheated. Now, if this one was timed, I actually might have might have made my bonus. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I cannot see but 20 feet in front of me. Or about six and a half meters by this game. Ugh. Okay, wow. I'm... I, I don't want to brag here, but I think I successfully evaded the police. And I got to my taxi quick. Let's see if they they chase me after a drop off of a passenger still. Thank you very much. Okay, profit share, that's fine. Because I'm just here for the experience, not the money. Take this guy. Oh, oh, here we go. Comfort. Um, nope, that's the wrong button. Okay, comfort mode. Oh, the police are up ahead. Oh, um, um, shoot. Oh it, oh, it redoes the time. Man, they are uh, diligent. This, uh, this, I don't, I, I'm curious what the police are actually like in uh, South Korea because this is very much the American police style. But, oh, I already lost a comfort. Slam it on the brake. Yeah, in, in the United States, well, I guess it depends where in the United States. It's a big country, but in a lot of places, if you ran this long from the police, you would have 20 police after you at this point. And maybe a helicopter. <laughs> and you're not paying a, a hundred coin fine if they find you. <laughs> okay, and to the grass. Let's see, I'm curious. Does driving through the grass automatically lose comfort points? No. Okay, so it is... It is uh, based on the acceleration and deceleration and not so much the fact that I am driving kind of crazy. It's just cornering. Thank you very much. There we go. Look at that. 39 experience bonus. That's pretty good. The only problem is, of course, um, there's nobody here to pick up. So that's annoying. Oh, and I have to go back this way to go to a town to find people to pick up. And this is where the police are. All right, well, we're going to just continually evade the police while being a taxi driver. This sounds like my first job. Oh, thank you. Thank you uh, for those of you who just tuned in. I have some viewers popping in. I don't see names, though, unless you chat or follow, so... Uh, there might be a setting, and if you want to <laughs> if you want to tell me how to do that, let me know. Um, but either way, I do appreciate you um, watching the Saturday morning chill stream is where we just hang out. We just play some game that's meant to relax us, meant to just sit and chat and have a good time and engage. 
On Wednesday, I plan on playing God of War. Less relaxing. Oh, okay. This is a long one. I used to, let's say, despise the long ones, but now I'm starting to... Um, starting to kind of understand how driving works. And this taxi, this yellow cab, we would call it, is much better than the other one. So th even though these drives are longer, it's actually easier. So I've also leveled up. I don't know, for those of you who have played this game quite a bit, does my personal overall driving le le uh, level affect how I drive in terms of the car's handling and stuff like that? Or is it only a function of me being able to access better vehicles and then therefore they drive better? Is that the police? No. Well, either way, I successfully evaded the police. So let me just, I should get a, a driving bonus for that. Yeah, okay, so from the chat, it's only a gun, uh, function to gate other vehicles behind your level. Uh, you know, that's what I thought, um, and, and that's totally fine. That makes sense. So your driving ability just lets you drive better vehicles. <laughs> At some point, you should have to disable some assist like tra disable traction control. Why would I disable it? <laughs> okay, I'll try it. This is this, I'm, I'm learning, so we'll try it. I did. So when I was looking through the menus, I did see a lot of assist options and I just left it all as the default. I wasn't sure what it was, but yeah, let's try it right now. OK, so. This is how I'm driving at about 100. OK, so options assist. So these assists or the steering assist strength. Oh, well, I don't want to I don't want to mess with the strength because I'm using a controller. Stability control and traction control to zero for strength. All right, let's try it. This this though, this option might be better. I'm going to try it just because why not? <laughs> but. Um, oh, no, that's steering assist. But I'm not I'm not using a wheel, so I wonder how much, you know, will be affected by using a controller doing this. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This is, this is, OK, <laughs> you're. You're a much better driver than me because uh, that you need to be smooth on the stick. Uh, all right. OK. All right. I'll let me try again. I did. I did try to do a, a sharp turn just to see how it would work. OK, I think this might be a better experience if I had um, a wheel, though. So maybe if you're playing with a controller, you're not meant to disable those things. By that same point, though, if a game has like auto target on, I have not seen those in in a lot of modern games. But um, what's that game with the the explorer guy named Drake, and they're making a movie about it? Wow. Anyways, those games always have like auto assist, which is actually helpful. You know, when you're going from computer to a controller, it is hard to get that fine targeting. But just just to learn and practice, I'm always disabling anything like that, like auto aim assist. I always disable that, even though I'm not not some kind of like pro gamer or anything. I just don't find it to be a, a good experience. So, yeah, let me let me try to drive a little without steering assist. And traction control, actually, so far I'm doing pretty well, so I am Taking your advice. And, oh. Okay. You know what? That's not that bad. For me, that's not that bad. Yeah, you really have to be... You really have to just be a little more thoughtful when you drive. 
They'll also make you slower, especially in corners. That's why either you have them, okay, as low as possible. Okay, find the best setting. That's a really good point. That, you know, that's a, just in games in general, that's a really good point, Mr. Vice uh, 2K, is try the settings on the two extremes and then see how you feel and then find the balance that works for you. I totally agree with that. Um, that that can work for almost any setting in a game, uh, like a difficulty setting, for example. You might say, oh, I always play on hard. I always play on hard or I always play on easy. A game like uh, I keep mentioning this, but I just started getting back into gaming, so I haven't played a lot of games. But uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I started that on hard and was so glad I did. Normally, I play every game on normal. That game needed a hard setting. And Fallout uh, New Vegas, that's a game I've played a bunch of times. Older game, <laughs> that's why I've played it. You had to play that on very hard to get anything. So like, yeah, it, without without changing those settings, yeah, you really wouldn't know. And in a way, that's almost like a difficulty setting for this game. Oh, oh, oh. Very much. There we go. Okay. I am, I will be level six after my next ride. I'm looking at the time. I've got an hour left. Can I get to be an ambulance driver? Quest to drive an ambulance. All right, we're going to speed up. And here's what we're going to also do. We are going to... We're going to make these 20% and then we're going to see how that feels. Traction and stability. So I think I agree with you that 100% is a little too much. I see I see the difference once I once I intentionally drove a little kind of smoother. I, I could I could see the benefit. OK, let's pick up uh, clearly a Misfits pan of uh, pan, <laughs> a Misfits fan. Pan. Thank you. I don't know how well you can hear the people in the game, but they all say something. I, I appreciate that for a game like this, for them to go out and either get those voice clips somewhere or to record them. That's I appreciate that little nice little touch for a, for a, a small game that's in early access and costs 15 bucks. Slowly becoming the best 15 bucks I've ever spent on a game. <laughs> I don't I don't know if the value is going to be Fall on New Vegas, a game I've played a million times or Skyrim, a game I literally never finished. I'm one of those people. I've done every quest all the way through, except for the main quest. Yeah, so. From the chat. You're unsure if steering assist and how much it interferes may be worse in the car's handling because you're not driving with a controller. Right. So driving with a wheel, driving with a controller, I could definitely see there being some variation. Like right now um, in God of War, I'm having trouble using the controller and aiming the axe, like fine aiming. It's it kind of moves in chunks. So I am going to actually fine tune those settings. That's a really great thing about this controller, though. Not sponsored, but I keep mentioning the uh, Xbox Elite controller. You can actually go into the settings and change the sensitivity and how much the um, interaction moves based on how much you move the controller. It's really quite interesting. It's also one of those things. Do I have an hour? to spend fine tuning a controller or do I have an hour to play God of War and just be slightly worse at it? So far, I've chosen the be slightly worse at it. <laughs> oh, I'm level 20. Boom, boom, boom. Now, my overall level doesn't really matter because I am on a quest to drive an ambulance. And that's race car level two, taxi level 10. As far as I know, there's no driver level, but if there were, it would probably be 
less than 10 anyways, or 10 anyways, so. I'm happy to be level 20, but it probably doesn't matter. You can never aim probably with any controller if I compare it to a mouse. So let me just say, if you, uh, on my YouTube channel, I, I haven't done this yet. So far, I've just been posting my streams, but I have some old videos of me playing Team Fortress. Some very old videos. We're talking 14 years ago. Team Fortress 2. And that was keyboard and mouse. I was only a keyboard and mouse player. The first time I picked up a controller, I I couldn't aim for anything. I The first time I played with a controller, a game where aiming mattered, was Halo, the first Halo. And I was so terrible. So what I did is I always drove the Warthog and my friend got in the back and did all the shooting. <laughs> and my goal was just to run people over. Um, I, I could not aim. So comparing a controller to a mouse and keyboard, I never understood how people could aim at all. And then this is dating myself too. When Counter-Strike, I mean, Counter-Strike was like a Half-Life mod in beta for a long time. But when Counter-Strike first came to systems with controllers, it was, it was kind of a joke in, in the Counter-Strike world when somebody was playing bad or missing a lot, you're like, oh, are you on a controller? <laughs> All right, maybe I'm not proud of making fun of people, but I was a kid. Um, so that used to be kind of like an insult. Oh, look at this crash. Oh, no. Oh, this is. Uh, oh, do you, do you need some help? Is this um, do you you got this? Um, oh, and my car is rolling away. OK, well. It looks like everybody's okay, so as far as I know, there's no way to call for emergency services. So I'm just gonna go. Be a, try to be a good person there. Um, yeah. Uh, so the the controller people playing Counter Strike, it was always like that was the joke. Like, oh, you must be playing on a controller because you're so bad. And uh, now, I mean, I'm just as bad as they ever were. But I will say, having Unfortunately, not had a ton of time to game over the years. Look at that. Oh, I might get to level 10. I might do this. Let's just do it. Um, having played the uh, games on controllers for 10 years now, I'm way better at controller than a mouse and keyboard. And I did recently put on Team Fortress 2. Excuse me. Oh, no. I can't pick this person. Oh, there we go. I recently uh, played Team Fortress 2 again. Unfortunately, I don't know any of you who have played in the last decade, but the servers are just full of people cheating. And not like cheating like I'm a sore loser because I'm a bad player. Like their name is literally the name of the cheat they're using and the website to download it. Like that's the name of their character. And they go like four people at a time on a server so you can't vote them out because you'll lose the vote. It's uh, it's quite unfortunate which hap what has happened to that game, especially because it's a I mean, it's a Valve game played on Steam. And they can't prevent cheating like. One of the biggest gaming companies in the world, I, probably because they just have no interest in it. There's so few players, uh, but I was using the mouse and keyboard to the point of my story and I was terrible. So if you use a controller long enough, you'll get much better at aiming, but you will lose those mouse and keyboard skills. <laughs> I never thought I would because I still use a mouse and keyboard every day for most of the day for work. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just pop back in and I'll be headshotting like, like the old days. No, no, I will not be headshotting like the old days. I need to I need to check uh, the Twitch like rules. If anybody knows this, I wonder if I could do a live stream where I'm just reacting to my old Team Fortress 2 uh, gaming videos. If, if that sounds fun, let me know. You know, I have 13 followers, so I will take your advice. <laughs> I will take it to heart because 
you obviously know uh, more about uh, Twitch and, and my stream than than just my random ideas, but that sounds kind of fun. So uh, here we go. Do, do, do. I'm going to turn on autopilot real quick while I check the chat. Let's see. There's a way that some games of the controller is just better and more comfortable to play than mouse and keyboard. Where are you going, autopilot? OK, I'm disabling autopilot because it's lost its mind. And I will write it and I will turn it on again. No. Nope. OK, so autopilot just wants me to turn around. So I'm going to manually drive. Yeah, so there's the game where the controller is just more comfortable than mouse and keyboard in environment. Yeah. Players will always compare the mouse and keyboard. I still don't understand. Such as games crossplay. Yeah, so crossplay, I mean, just for from a gamer's point of view, I'm so glad crossplay is like coming back. And just to be clear, the gaming industry is who's preventing cost uh, crossplay. It's not uh, these individual service providers like Steam and Sony and Microsoft, they're the ones denying it. It's not a technical limitation. That existed 20 years ago. <laughs> so they can pretend um, that all they want and they can they can make claims like that. But every once in a while, some developer will accidentally turn it on at Sony or something and it'll work for like six hours and it'll work perfectly with no problems. And then you'll go, hey, well, why don't we have crossplay? And I'll say I, I am I'm the reason there's no crossplay. I will take blame because I purchased God of War on PlayStation and on PC. <laughs> I bought it on PlayStation three years ago, never finished it, and I just bought it on PC. So that's what they they want to sell more copies. And it's my fault. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I wish I could use autopilot because I'm really bad at driving. Yeah, a crossplay in shooters, though, I say. If crossplay is a net good for the gaming industry, in my. Amateur opinion. But you shouldn't be forced into crossplay. You're absolutely right. In my Counter Strike example, if you're playing on console, you should just be allowed to say, oh, I want to only play against console people or only Xbox people or crossplay. Yeah. There are some people I have met some people that are better on a controller than I ever was on a mouse and keyboard. In terms of aiming, and these are people who can easily headshot on a controller, so there's different there's different skill levels, but it would be great. Yeah, if you could select your platform. But no, for me, and it sounds like for uh, Mr. Vice. Playing a shooter with a controller is a horrible experience. <laughs> OK, how are we doing here? Look at this percentage. Um, we're already level seven, man. I do have to end the stream a tiny bit early today. I have some some real life obligations, which I would much rather do this than anything else I have to do today. <laughs> OK, comfort and urgent. So far, I have failed miserably every single urgent. Thank you very much. Let's fail this one, too. Okay, off to a good start. I'm going the wrong way. Oh my god. Okay. Now I'm going the right way. We still have three comforts and we have three minutes and fifty seconds to get there. And I am looking at the wrong menu and I almost hit a car. Ooh, let's do this. Okay. How do we do comfort and urgent? I don't know. We're going to find out. Just drive straight until you're on the highway. Oh, yeah. Well, ooh, oh, I should look at the map. OK, all right. We're just we're just going chill. It's, it's not a bad idea. Oh, I, 
Personally, I want to just drive through the grass, but every time I do that, it doesn't actually benefit me. Get off the road. Okay, here we go. Boy, I really wish it wasn't nighttime. I have not changed a single setting, but so far this morning, as we're as we're playing this, I'm feeling like it's been night most of the time. I'm sure I'm down to two already. I'm sure that is literally incorrect, but I yeah, that's an appropriate flashing of your lights. I'm trying to maintain this comfort level here. There is just no way I'm getting either bonus <laughs> driving the way I drive. OK, here we go. And I just cut through this grass just a little bit corner. Oh, my. Oh, oh, no. Ugh. I lost all the comfort and the police are coming. I hit the wrong button. All right. <sighs> Let's still go for the urgent bonus. I have not successfully done one. You shift manually. No. So in real life, I have driven uh, manual shift cars uh, many times um, and owned a couple. And for me, it's a much better driving experience. But oh my God. in this game, I kind of feel like it'd be one too many things for me to manage. Look, you can't be in a hurry and want a comfortable ride. Sorry. Your expectations are unrealistic. And I've got a minute 24 to get you there and run from the police. Yeah, so. If you. So I'm reading. Yeah, if you manually shift, you will go faster. I, I think that's. I definitely see how that would be true. Um, even, I mean, in real life, that's true, too, because you can kind of just stay in first to, you know, get up to, depending on your car, but get up to like 20 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour before you hit second. So you will save a lot of time that way. But I, I am just, as you can see, I'm not very good at this game. So the idea of having one more thing to think about, I don't know. <laughs> If let's see, after I get this person, maybe uh, maybe I'll check out the settings, uh, or maybe as an ambulance driver, I'll need to, I'll need to learn that. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, hey, while I'm uh, driving all over the road here, let me just check in with people. I have in my description that we also do um, a mindful kind of chat. I did a, a lengthy conversation last Saturday and I did follow up on that a little earlier about progress of some of the tasks we talked about. But if anybody has questions about that or or wants to wants to say anything, you know, always feel free. Don't don't feel like, you know, it has to be about the game or whatever, whatever you want to talk about. Oh, yeah, let's not talk about the game. All right. If I hadn't missed that turn, I still would have been late. Yes, the timer was up, but I would have only been late by like 10 seconds. OK. All right. This is something I wouldn't mind telling a developer. I realize this car doesn't have a ton of traction, but this is a grass field. This is not a mud pit. I drive right up that. These cars weigh enough. All right, here we go. Failed on the comfort. Failed on the urgent. I should have just forgotten the urgent and uh, just gone straight for the comfort ride and I would have got a pretty big bonus. Yeah, the manual shift would probably work better in comfort mode. But in sport mode, it, it's it's high enough RPMs. Oh, well, let me pick up this person immediately. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> seven's 25. Great driving. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I think 
I think if you were to make a edit of the amount of time I spend stuck in the grass in this game, it would be it would be a significant portion of my driving. But let me tell you, since day one, day one, I have not driven into the harbor again. So I'll give myself 10 bonus points for that. I don't know how many um, bonus points I have total, but I just got 10 more. How am I doing today? How are you doing today? How are you doing today? While you're typing that, I will answer how I'm doing today. I think I'm doing quite well. I have found, and I hope this is true for everybody watching, I have found that starting the day off with a stream like this, where it's about chatting and it's about, we, we did a little mindful check-in earlier. It's about playing a game that's not too stressful. Uh, I have to make it stressful. I think that is a, just a great way to start the day. And I, and I hope that's true for all of you. Also, a little coffee doesn't hurt. So I find a gas station. <gasps> this is the first time I ever ran out of gas. I do have some plans later assisting someone moving, which is the only downside to that is I have to end the stream like 15 minutes early today. That's the big downside to that. So otherwise, I don't really mind helping people move. I think it's, you know, get a little exercise, you know, help help out a friend. Not not much downside, but downside is timing today. You're doing well. Nice sunny day. You know, I, I have I'll be honest, I have not looked outside yet. Um, when I woke up, it was dark and I turned on the stream and I have not looked outside, but I'm guessing as it is a sunny day here, 90 percent of the days. We should be OK. That's a little warning honk so people don't pull out in front of me. Good breakfast. Yeah, let's let's talk about breakfast for a second. Having a good breakfast is something that everyone says. You've heard this a million times since you were growing up, but it is something I have really begun to value in the last six months. And uh, let me tell you, it has made a difference. When you drive in the dark, try switching to the long distance car light. You don't know the English word for it. I have. Let me just say, uh, Mr. Vice 2K. Your ability to type in English far surpasses mine. And I believe you said you were German. I have multiple German viewers, which is great. I have I have a German follower also, which is amazing. I have never been to Germany. I almost went last summer and well, some things went a little awry with my planning. <laughs> but yes, so we call them here. I don't know the English word for it either, but what I call them locally is uh, high beams. We call them high beams. So I'm going to drop this person off and I'm going to get gas. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, like, I don't want to be cheap here, but, you know, uh, I forgot who said it, but a pretty famous person said one time when you when you put but in the middle of a sentence, you're essentially saying, ignore everything I just said. <laughs> and I have found that to be true, not 100 percent of the time, but a lot of the time. So let me say this sentence and then you can tell me if you believe that it is fitting. I don't want to be cheap, but I don't want to pay for gas. This isn't my car. This person's making 33% off all of my trips. Oh, I have an idea. All right. This let's I don't want to I don't want to be a bad person here. But 
I'm going to park this vehicle and I'm going to teleport to my house and then I'm going to go pick up another taxi. <laughs> but I will park this vehicle so the owner can retrieve it. You speak German, but you are Austrian. Let me tell you, I have known two Austrians in my whole life and they've both been absolutely amazing people. Now, does that mean all Austrians are or are not? I have no idea, right? <laughs> I'm just relating my personal experience. So I just uh, love the fact that you're from Austria. And never call someone from Austria German, for sure. The very first Austrian I ever met told me that. Before I did. So I do apologize for calling you German. Um, you had mentioned Germany or German earlier, and I, I did make an assumption there. So that is a very good correction, and I will definitely take that. Uh, respawn. How do I how do I teleport to my house? How do I teleport to my house? There is a workout program that I do. I'm not going to get into workout on this stream. This is the wrong stream for that. But um, the oh, there we go. Boom. Best hundred coins I've ever spent. Now, where's those taxis? <laughs> Um, in the workout, the uh, person who runs the program and does the videos, he's uh, also Austrian. There you go. That's unfortunately, that's the sum of my uh, Austrian knowledge. And of course, though, there is a scene from Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> which I don't know if you're old enough to have seen that movie. I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know if I can recommend that movie anymore. You know, when you watch a movie as a kid and it's just the funniest thing you've ever seen, is that still true as an adult? Um, for me, yes. But, okay, you've seen a long time ago. So in the very opening scene, Jim Carrey's character sees, uh, you know, a woman he's attracted to on the side of the road. He stops his car. He pretends to be a passenger in the limo, not the driver. And he asks some question to drift mode bad. Why am I in drift mode? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm in drift. Well, I'm glad you said something because I would have just hit that pole and kept hitting poles. Oh, this is the comfort ride. Uh oh, OK, I should pay attention. So in the uh, scene from Dumb and Dumber, he, he pulls up to the woman and he says, you know, like, you know, how do I get there? And she goes over the bridge and he goes, oh, that's a lovely accent. Where are you from? And she says Austria. And then, of course, he does a stereotypical uh, Australian response. So that's that was my first introduction as a kid to the country of Austria. I knew it wasn't Australia, though. I was smarter than Lloyd Christmas, which is not really saying something. That's the whole point of the movie. <laughs> uh, welcome, uh, those of you who just tuned in. We're doing our Saturday morning stream. We just play a chill game. Three weeks in a row. Oh, jeez. Okay. So this, this passenger, to update those who just joined, this passenger requires comfort while driving. And this car has the ability to have four comfort squares, as you can see up in the top corner there. However, I am down to one. And as I am trying to hit. As I'm trying to hit level 10 in taxi. So I can drive an ambulance, I actually need those comfort meters to be full. So I get bonus experience. Now, the first one may be my fault, maybe not. The car was in drift mode. And fortunately, uh, that was pointed out to me <laughs> immediately. OK. But the other two, definitely my fault. I'm just a bad driver. <laughs> so why do I honk at people when I pass them? That's a friendly honk, in case you're wondering. That's a. Don't do anything crazy. I'm the crazy one passing you, honk. 
Okay, let's see. I'll make this turn smooth. Oh, yeah, that was smooth. We need that one square because I want to hit. I want to hit level 10. Before. Before I have to end the stream, which is seriously in 25 minutes, gang. Um, I, I, I normally try to go a little late, but I, I am helping someone move, so. Try that friendly honk in real life and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's let's just say there are some things we all do in games that we would never do in real life. You're right. A friendly honk would not go a long way. Where I uh, work, the town I work in, um, it would it would be a very easy way to get into a confrontation. Uh, however, in the town I grew up in, which is... Oh, I lost the comfort square. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. Uh, well, town I grew up in, in the middle of nowhere, Forestville, USA. That's not a real place. I just mean it was in the middle of a forest. Um, you could do the you could get away with the friendly honk. As like a, hey, I'm passing you, because it's all mountain roads. Golden rule for corners. Slow in, fast out. Saturday morning. Stream. All viewers. Rated G. That is excellent driving advice. Excellent driving advice. Um, I think that's... I want to say that's actually really true for real life, too. If you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry, the corners you can when you lose traction on a corner, you really lose a lot of speed. So at this point now, maybe I should still be driving careful because it's good practice, but I've already I've already lost the comfort bonus, so I'm going for it just through the field. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been a big bonus, too. This is a long drive. Oh, man, here we go. We are at eight and a half, almost exactly. So I need about four more rides that length. Can I, all I want to all I want to do is drive an ambulance. OK, here we go. Comfort. We're getting it. Watch this. Bonus four square bonus comfort. This is the goal. It's important to have goals in games, even games like this simulator games where the whole point is just do whatever. No, no, you still need goals just like in real life goals. They don't have to be lofty. Aspirational, achievable. Sure. Find a balance. That's some that's some real life advice too. always have goals. <laughs> OK, here we go. Slow down, slow down. Okay, we're down to three. So by slow down, I probably should slow down a lot more. Here's what I will say, though. I also get, I also lose points for comfort um, when I slam on the brakes. So slow trigger. These triggers are very dynamic, which is good. So slow trigger. Oh, I'm almost out of gas in this thing. It's probably because I left this one running. Oh, oh, are the police after me? Oh, no, that's just the police. Friendly honk. Oh, really? He hits me, and now the police are after me? Okay. You know what? If the police come for me, I will take my fine. Not because I think it's fair. I would fight that in court. I would lose, just for the record, in case you're wondering, at least uh, in American court, because he had a sirens on, which means I should have pulled over. Okay, that truck cut me off. I slammed on the brake and I lost another comfort. And then, all right, that one, that one was not my fault. <laughs> okay, back to my point though. Here, here in the states, at least, if you, if the police have their siren on, 
you're going to basically be guilty of whatever they want to charge you with because you didn't pull over, even if they hit you. All right, we're going to get our two squares of comfort, and that's still going to be good. One of those is absolutely my fault. One of them was not my fault. So we're just going to keep it slow. Look, I'm going under the speed limit. We, we got to get to level 10 taxi, folks. Um, I, I want to drive an ambulance. Last Saturday, my goal was to become a bus driver, and I did it by the end of the stream. So, oops. Oof, okay. You can see the little indicator um, right there, right? Nope, right there. <laughs> Everything's mirrored. Um, and it's that little white dot when it turns red that it's like their head is like smashing into the window, basically. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch is reminding me. I mean, I'm, it's automated. Like, I don't think a human being is reminding me, but which is reminding me to tell you all about my follower goal of 17. Why 17? Prime number. I just, I set a goal, and the next goal is a prime number. <laughs> why? I have no idea why. I'm not even like into math that much. I like numbers. But we're at 13, and 17 is a prime number, so why not? It's, okay, here we go. I'm still at two stars, 800 meters left. Or not two stars, but two two squares. We'll call them comfort squares. Two pillows. They should, let's call them pillows. I'm at two two out of four pillows. Okay, here we go. I am level 23 overall. Which is, it's great to keep leveling up, but we want level 10 taxi. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Golden rule. My, my Austrian friend here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Oh, they're out on a dirt road? Okay, I don't, I don't know about all this. Okay, here we go. We still have two comforts. Comfort pillows. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, 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 yes. A hundred and two bonus. Wow, that is a big bonus. Boy, this whole time, if I had been really paying attention to comfort, I'd be level 10 by now. So we need level 10 to be an ambulance, and we are almost 9, and we have 15 minutes to go. So let's let's see, where am I? I'm here. That's the nearest pickup person. Really? That's the closest? Man. Okay, well, let's do it. We are ignoring the law. We're switching over to sport mode. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, sport mode. We're ignoring the law. We're ignoring traffic rules. We're ignoring common decency, all in the quest to become a level 10 taxi driver so that then I can drive an ambulance and help people. Tell me if that logic makes any sense. <laughs> it probably doesn't. But this vehicle is much better driving through the grass than some vehicles. <laughs> oh, thank you for joining me. Thank you, we have some uh, new viewers. I hopped on. I uh, do appreciate it. The Saturday morning chill, uh, I do repeat myself, is uh, just to just play a fun, fun, relaxing game and just uh, chat about chat about ways to enjoy life a little more. And earlier I talked a little bit about mindfulness. And you have questions about that? Let me know. Okay, and... I'm going to run out of gas on... Uh, this vehicle as well. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Can I get to level 10 before I run out of gas? Okay, let's hope this is a comfort ride. And then I can get some bonuses. Oh, it's urgent, which sounds great because there's bonuses, but I have yet to succeed on a single urgent task and not even close. So we're going for it. Here we go. All right. 
I looked at the map. I have a route planned. I forgot the game doesn't pause when you look at the map. So fail on that. <laughs> but that's OK. Don't hesitate to break early, but gently and progressively harder the closer you get to a junction or corner. I think around 30 to 45 kilometers per hour and smooth turn angle, you should not lose comfort. Yes. Yeah, that is definitely something I am really not good at. So that that is that is good advice. Fortunately, this ride is not comfort. This is urgent. So if I could get this, that would be huge. I've yet to get a. OK, <clears throat> I get to get a single urgent bonus yet. Come on. OK, this one's not happening. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. At least it at least it's a fast ride. Even if it's even if I don't get the urgent bonus, at least I'm not spending a ton of time doing it because I'm driving crazy. OK. Here's here's a question for the chat. Next week will be my fourth Saturday stream. Uh, during the week, Wednesday specifically, I plan on playing God of War, but I might uh, add some other evening streams if I if I can get the time. But I'm definitely playing next Saturday. The question is, do I play this game again? Like, I'm just loving this game, but I never saw myself as like the Motor Town stream, right? I just wanted to play a chill game that's fun. Another uh, follower mentioned Road 96, so I do have the demo for that downloaded and I want to check that out. I love when even small developers do demos. That is so helpful. Man, you know, again, I only missed this by a few seconds. If I hadn't driven off the road in the very beginning, I think I think I would have got this one, but that's all right. We got another passenger right there ready to go, so we're going to we're going to definitely get there. Thank you. Thank you. OK, level nine. I need. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to make it this time. Yeah, so that that's some good advice on driving. OK, here's the comfort. Let's let's see what I've learned. Start slow and try getting faster. Yes, for sure. So if if I can get this four four pillow comfort bonus, even on this short ride, it's going to be a pretty decent boost for me. So let's let's see. Let's see. OK, I'm driving off the road. That's fine. They don't seem to care about that. OK, here we go. This is a nice short ride. I can do this. <laughs> I need those four pillows. I'm actually I'm genuinely curious what the bonus is on four, because the most I've gotten is two. And it was a pretty, pretty big boost. Be careful. Oh. OK, let's see what the bonus is on three. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good at stopping, so that's lesson. Lesson learned three or um, I mean, stopping is is my biggest challenge because now I'm on three. Oh, man, that was such a gimme too. Yeah, I'm I mean, kind of intentionally driving in the grass just to make that turn smoother because I didn't slow down enough. Oh, these vehicles have no traction. OK, this is not realistic. I don't know what. I don't know what modern car could not drive up that grass hill. Oh. You know what? I've been on this exact hill before for this exact reason, but that's OK, because watch this. We're still getting three pillows. We're getting three comfort pillows. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so back back to my question. Do I play this game for a fourth week? I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. 
Do you want to see the game? Yeah, I know I missed it. I'm trying not to lose a pillow by breaking because I was not paying attention. Watch this. Watch so smooth. So smooth. Thank you very much. Okay, so 65 normal experience and 39 bonus. That's that's pretty good. Now, if it were a longer ride, obviously that would have been a much bigger bonus. But but just just in terms of the length of that ride, that's pretty solid. I think it is uh, comfort and urgent. All right. You know what? Urgent's not happening. It's literally the other side of the island. So we're going for comfort. That's it. We're going for comfort. Urgent's not happening. If I could get even on this long of a ride, a two, a two pillow, it would be good to go. Of course, sport, sport mode and go. Yeah. Sport mode. Yes. For this, if if I were a better driver, 100%, this would be sport mode. You'd like to see the ambulance. Yeah. Yeah, I would really like to see the ambulance, too. That's a good point, though. Whatever's fun for me, right? Isn't that the point, right? I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun if you're if you're watching and you're following. And I do appreciate uh, all of you following uh, that. That's the point, right? And I think I am having a lot of fun with this game. This ride is one of the easiest urgents. Oh, no. And I and I already gave up on it. Oh, no. Well, I think it's I think it's far too late now, but you're you're probably right. It was a four minute urgent and usually they're like 30 seconds. So. But yeah, yeah. But back to the point about which game to play. I am having a lot of fun with this game and I really do want to drive an ambulance and. Oh, no, I'm looking at the clock. This is my last ride, so I'm. OK, it's settled. I'm doing this game next Saturday because I have to drive an ambulance. I will not in any way feel like I have achieved the next level in this game until I drive an ambulance. So my goal right now is get this four pillow comfort delivery. And uh, and then that's going to be it. That's going to be it for the day. Wow, thank you, everybody, for uh, joining and, and providing tips in the chat and I have a new new European friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. How are we doing? OK, this, yeah, this is pretty easy to drive. All right, I am going to speed up and I am going to regret that. I'm also about to run out of gas, but since this is my last uh, drop off, maybe it's perfect unless I don't don't get there. I will share a little um, Two, two running out of gas stories as they are relevant. I used to be a pizza delivery driver. <laughs> so uh, many years ago, and let me tell you, that is one of the best jobs. If you like driving and you don't mind people yelling at you. <laughs> I with with the way food delivery services are now, though, it's a completely different world. This whole like, you know, you're you know, you're just a, a person sitting at home and then someone tells you, hey, drive to McDonald's and buy me some food and then bring it to my house. And that's not the world of pizza delivery. Pizza delivery, I was... Okay, here we go. Let's break. Break slow. Break slow. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, we still did it. <laughs> uh, pizza delivery, I worked for the pizza place. So I was making pizzas, I was sweeping, I was cleaning when I was in delivery. So I was a real normal employee. And uh, my favorite thing was washing dishes, though. I still enjoy washing dishes. I don't know. Uh, hop into the chat. I think I asked this last week, but I think it's because I just did the dishes in the morning. What's your favorite chore? Dishes are my favorite chore. So anyways, um, just love the soapy water on the hands. Big fan. <laughs> so. Uh, back to the uh, pizza delivery story, though. In California, where I live, you can no longer buy. There's basically this like gallon of like really stable gas. You're not supposed to use it in your car like for everyday driving. 
but as an emergency last like 10 miles, you could keep it in your car because it wasn't very flammable, right? It's much safer to carry than gas, but now you can't have anything like that in California. I don't know why. Um, probably because it's like also super highly toxic. <laughs> but I ended up, uh, some, some lady ran out of gas just right kind of like in the middle of the road, and I ended up giving that to her. And then that's when I found out you can no longer buy it. And then maybe two days later, I was taking a delivery really far out of my way, and oh, I was like so low on gas. And back then, you didn't have the car tell you how many miles you had left. So it was like, how far past the E could you drive was always the challenge for my friends and I. And uh, well, I was pushing it, and I literally ran out of gas as I was pulling into the gas station. And uh, that was the only time in my entire life I ever ran out of gas. And that freaked me out so bad that I now I'm a little paranoid about it. So it's rare for me to get under a quarter of a gallon <laughs> or a quarter of a tank, rather. Look at this. My first four pillow delivery. Wow. What a way to end the stream in massive success. Unfortunately, I'm not level 10 yet. So one more taxi ride and I will be level 10 and I will get to drive that ambulance. The entire goal is to get to an ambulance. So one more taxi ride and I will get an ambulance. And I will actually let me pop over here. I'm going to pop up this boom logo made by Brett in the chat right now. Highly appreciated. My hair is a little transparent. That's OK. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the follows. I appreciate the conversation in the chat. Do come back next Saturday. We're going to drive that ambulance. We'll be driving the ambulance within the first 10 minutes. One more taxi ride, then the ambulance. And if you, in the meantime, want to check out my God of War stream, I'm going to be doing that on Wednesday. And I'm going to try to do as many hours of that as I can. Uh, so it kind of depends how work is, but definitely Wednesday. And definitely see you back next Saturday. Thank you. Okay.